Hi, my name is Monica and I am the author of a blog for Aprender English. And today I'm going to teach you how to ask negative questions with the verb to be. Ok, vamos a aprender cómo hacer preguntas negativas con el verbo to be. Ok, ¿cuándo, when do we use these type of questions? ¿Cuándo utilizamos este tipo de preguntas? Cuando queremos confirmar información que ya tenemos. For example, isn't she a doctor? No es ella médico. Ok, now let's see the structure. First, verb to be, then not, then the subject, and then the object. Primero el verbo to be, luego not, luego el sujeto, y luego el complemento, ¿ok? For example, Aren't you a student? ¿No eres tú estudiante? Veamos más ejemplos en el presente del verbo to be. Aren't they working? ¿No están ellos trabajando? Aren't we here? ¿No estamos aquí? ¿Ok? Now, are you there? ¿No estás tú allí? Ok. Isn't she a nurse? ¿No es ella enfermera? Now, let's go to the past tense. Ok. Wasn't she a nurse? ¿No era ella enfermera? Weren't you a student? ¿No eras tú estudiante? Weren't they children? No eran niños. Weren't they here? No estaban ellos aquí. Okay, what is important in the present tense and in the past tense? That in most negative questions, we make a contraction. Okay, and tendemos a enlazar, ¿no? Aren't you there? Aren't you? Aren't you there? No estás tú allí. Okay, pegamos. Weren't they there? No estuvieron ellos ahí. Weren't they? Weren't they? Weren't they there? Ok. Aren't they here? En presente. Aren't they here? Ok. So, remember. First, the verb can be in the present or in the past tense. Then, not. Then, the subject and then the object. Ok, siempre primero el verbo, not, sujeto y el complemento, ok. Y always, almost always, make a contraction. Ok, see you next class, bye bye.